The battle over Terrence Crutcher's estate begins. He's the man that Tulsa police officer shot and killed 10 days ago. Well, court documents reveal that Crutcher's parents are now fighting for control of his estate, and so is the mother of his three children. Two Works for you reporter Darcy Jackson is live downtown with more on what's at stake. Darcy. Yeah, Karen, a, a judge appointed Frenchal Johnson special administrator of his estate on Friday, but his parents filed a motion today saying they believe that may not only be bad for his estate, but it could be against the law. Johnson's attorney Dan Smolin in a familiar place, the spotlight calling on a civil rights investigation into law enforcement's handling of a man's death. Smolin represented the family of Eric Harris, shot and killed by a volunteer deputy last year. Among the topics, Crutcher's estate and his client's appointment as special administrator. Smolin says Johnson was in a common law marriage with Crutcher for 16 years, and they have three children together. Under Oklahoma law, even without an estate being set up, She's the only person who has the authority to bring a wrongful death action. But Crutcher's parents, Reverend Joey and Leanna, dispute that. In documents filed today, the Crutchers asked the courts to name them as special administrators to Terrence's estate, saying they have the custody of Crutcher's children. The motion to vacate Johnson's appointment states that Johnson is a three-time convicted felon and that she and Terrence were never married, even through common law. In documents Johnson filed in a pending criminal case in August, she left the space for spouse blank. And on Friday, she bonded out of jail records show on the same date she filed to control Crutcher's estate. Johnson faces a second charge of assault and battery with a dangerous weapon and, according to court records, has a standing protective order against her. Smolin says none of that matters. Because she's the heir. She's the sole heir as the wife. Now, attorneys for the Crutchers argue that they are also very capable of filing a wrongful death suit in the, on behalf of, of Terrence Estate's behalf. A judge will decide the matter on Friday. In downtown, Darcy Jackson, two works for you.